This the issue of African and Caribbean students being trapped in Ukraine is something that's really making me upset. Not only, Not only in the fact that it's happening, but in the fact of how it's being handled on social media. There are racist, there are racist people, people in Ukraine, like there are racist, racist people in the United States of America. Racist, racist people do not represent the Ukrainian government, government and they do not represent all people in Ukraine. And so to highlight their actions and say that now the people in Ukraine no longer deserve any support is flawed. issue of African and... Hey, Shalom. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS. Peace, love, and salutations to the boy of the daughter house of David and the brother Zion out of GMS Boston. Uploading on this channel, I'll be jumping back and forth um, from both channels. You know, Esau, these devils are trying to strike everything moving. So, you know, to avoid these shutdowns, you know, we got to just move carefully but nonetheless all right this is a video and this this uh, particular tiktok is using an article that says thousands of african students who went to the ukraine to train to become doctors and engineers scramble to escape the russian offense you know they lack a word scramble to it's not addressing what's actually going on because what's actually going on is these Caribbeans and even these uh, Nigerians, most of them are Jake, you know. And it's fitting that they would be Jake. Um, they're getting pushed off. I've seen videos of them getting pushed off to train, denied access to the train, actually held at gunpoint. And these are actually trains that are leaving <coughs> as they seek refuge, you know, to save their lives from... Uh, Save their asses from getting bombed and and basically put to death from the Russian onslaught that's taking place. And often, a lot of times, um, I, I do see videos of kids in which, if it was on a first come first serve basis, you know, you would figure that kids would be priority. But nonetheless, we live in a world that's uh, ruled and ran by the wicked, okay, and we wouldn't expect anything less. All right. As a so-called black man living in America and observing the world, I wouldn't expect anything less, anything less from these devils. You know, this is exactly what you'd expect. You'd expect them to uh, be racist and to cater to their own people, to worry about their own people's safety. And and, and this is not a bad thing. This is actually a good thing. Okay. All right, it, it would behoove our people to be just as wise and to care just as much about our people than we do everybody else. And then you will see us at the top of the food chain and not at the bottom of the food chain. But this philosophy, this mind frame, this uh, hypnotism, all right, hypnosis, deep hypnosis, all right, um, from being underneath their spell for 400 plus years has us, you know, catering to them. And that's a typical slave, okay? That's a typical slave. A, a slave is always catering, all right, toward their master. Um, it was a famous clip of Michael Mex, you know, basically describing the house Negro and the field Negro. And he said, you know, the house Negro, when the master got sick, he said, is we sick, master, you know? What is we gonna wear? How how are we feeling? Because he equated himself. He completely denied himself, and completely equated himself with his master. And this is what Jake do to this day. They brag about having a job, and they brag about working overtime. You know, they brag about how many hours they put in. Right? They brag about things that are not theirs. Okay. And this goes down to the typical bank gangbanger in the streets that brags about a, a street. All right, that's not his Pyru. Pyru gang is a street that's in you know Los Angeles, and 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 people have died over the street and never been on the street. All right, they brag about things that's not theirs. Jacob pull up in a car that's leased or a car that's rented, and show out as if it's his. All right, and that is the mentality of a slave, okay? And this is what Jake has, all right? A slave-like 
mentality, okay? So this guy here, you know, he claims that the government aren't racist and the people aren't racist, all right? But, you know, we should still support the Ukraine. Well, well tell me, Jake, why in the fuck would you support the Ukraine? What, what dog do you have in this fight? Why should you care about um, hundreds or, or even thousands of Edomites being put to death when millions of your people uh, are, are and plan to be slaughtered? Why? Why? I tell you, because you're a slave, okay? All right, so um, let me get this real quick. The heart of the people and the heart of the mind, the heart of the king, Bible, KGV. This is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it to so as he will. Every way of a man is right to his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth his heart. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. All right, so the heart of the king's is is in the hand of the Lord. So whoever is in power is in the hand of the Heavenly Father. And what the Heavenly Father is getting ready to do is he's getting ready to take down the so-called white man, right? That's why the scriptures say, uh, Though hand join hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse uh, 21, Give you different versions. Though hand join hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. All right, and who who is the wicked? The wicked is Esau. All right, the wicked is Esau, the Edomites. All right, and what they've done is they've um, produced a wicked uh, energy. All right, in the earth. All right, and and and. When you, just like I, I made a mention in camp, you know, um, our bodies, are, 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 our spirits are pure energy. And this is the reason why if you was to t touch a live uh, black wire and also a live neutral wire, um, you become part of that circuit, okay? And you will get electrocuted. You will feel that voltage, okay? And if somebody was to come see you, uh, grab hold of those two things and try to touch you to push you off from them um, Thinking in their mind, you know, they're gonna they're going to save you. They also become a part of that voltage Okay, that's why they tell you when you take these uh, classes That if this was to happen, you know, you will have to kick somebody because your the bottom of your feet is rubber and rubber is not conducive All right to electricity. So if you want to these these men's hands are filled with blood, okay? Esau, the so-called white man, women, and child, their governments from the, to the elites to the Homer Simpson duff drink, beer drinking uh, losers, all right? Because they're part of this nation. They take part of it, all right? Their hands are full of blood, and they have a bad energy about them. So shaking hands and joining hands with them is only going to make you a part, all right, of the wicked society, of the wicked energy, all right, you have to kick them away from you, all right, to hope to, and, 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 and we hope to establish a new heaven and a new earth with a new energy, with a, a righteous vibration. This is what this, this is all about, all right, but Jake always wants to be, uh, come through and save the day, he wants to save Esau. All right, so let's go to some scriptures real quick. Um. Go to some scriptures. Um, so real quick before before we go we go there, let's just recap. So you had this Jake who, who made mention of, you know, not everybody's doing this and and, and we still have to support the, the, the Ukraine, you know? I mean 
it's, it, it, it's time for us to understand that who our enemies is. If, 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 if our enemies fight one another, this is a good thing because it weakens both of our enemy. All right. Um, let's go over here real quick. If Satan be divided against Satan, how can his house stand? Here is some information for Bible verse house divided. According to Wikipedia, in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 12 verse 25, Jesus knew their thoughts, and said unto him, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Yeah, and this is a house that's divided against itself. Alright? Esau is a house. Okay? Jacob is also a house. How many times is it mentioned the house of Obadiah? Right? Obadiah chapter 1. Uh, verse 1, the vision of Obadiah does say of the Lord concerning Edom, we have heard a rumor, uh, uh, from, from, a rumor from the Lord, Yehovah Shem Yahushai, and the ambassador sit amongst the heathen, arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle, behold, I have made us, I have made ye small amongst the heathen, thou art greatly despised, the pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks, whose habitation is high, and safe in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground, though they exalt itself as the eagle, though they set their nests among the stars, Thence will I bring thee down, say of the Lord. All right. Um, just jumping down real quick. Uh, how are the hidden things of Esau searched out? How is the city's things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee to the border. The men that are at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread lay the wound under thee, and there's the understanding of them. Shall I not in that day, say of the Lord, even destroy the wise men? Out of Eden and understanding, out of the Mount of Esau, all right, and thy uh, mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right, so this is the fate that Esau, Edom has to suffer, the Edomites have to suffer um, for what they did. Then it goes on to list some things that they have done, okay, jumping down to 18. Uh, the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. All right, so the house of Esau is an adverse to the house of Jacob. So if that house of Esau is divided against itself, if Russia and America can't, um, unite together underneath this one world order that they're trying to establish all right these white european so-called white uh so-called european um nations can't all agree um to come together again to establish this new world order it's not going to work and as of right now uh putin is just not in on what's going on he's not participating you know, he doesn't have that, um, he doesn't have that central banking ran by the, the elites. You know, there are a lot of things that he, he's not, uh, obliding by, all right? And when you don't abide by, um, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the DuPonts, the Rockefellers, what they do is they'll bring war to your doorstep after everything else has failed, after the sanctions have failed but the problem with russia is is you know russia is not only do they have a a large army with a, a the most artillery in the world and the most tanks in the world you know vladimir putin is showing uh his 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 kahunas to use his military to fight against aggression all right and then you have russia going off script so to speak, or not so to speak, going off strip to defend against these brown nations. All right, so it's harder to overtake um, um, the world. It's not as easy as they would like it because you have Russia being a defense to these nations. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. 
Uh, 38 and 1. Well, I, I want to, I'm going to, matter of fact, I'm going to go, I'm going to go down real quick. Uh, uh, where it says uh, Ezekiel 38 and 5. These are, these are lists of other nations in which America, uh, Russia is being a garden to, which they're helping. And these are the nations that, you know, the Edomites want to control and conquer, all right, because they know if they can control and conquer these nations, you know, they will have the world fully in their grips, all right? One of them, Persia, Ethiopia, uh, Ezekiel 38 and 5, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet, Gomar and all his being, the house of Tomagar and the north quarters and all his being, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared, all right, and prepare for thyself thou and all thy company thou similar unto thee and be a guard unto them. All right, so so they're being a guard unto these darker nations, man. And this goes, this is off code according to how Esau wants to, because underneath the rule of NATO, everybody else is a third world country. And this is despite how much money you have, how much resources you have, all right, how good your people are, how much gold you, you have, oil, all right, uh, 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 diamonds, uh, food, all right, that your, your wealth is not determined, all right, uh, by that in a new world, in this new world order, all right, in this new world order, your wealth is determined by uh, what race you are, what class you fall underneath, you know, and if you're a so-called white man, you know, you're good to go. You have a seat at the table. Even even, even being uh, the poorest so-called white man is better than being a middle-class black man because of how you get treated in the society, all right? Then a so-called brown man. They want people to play their roles. They want the so-called Mexican to play a Pacific role, all right? The, the straight black man has no place in Esau's New World Order, Okay? He has no role in Esau's new world because he's a, a, a progenitor. He's a father, which is a progenitor. Of, he's the seed bearer. All right? He brings life. All right. And, 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 and depopulation is a part of their agenda. All right. So homosexuals can make it in Esau's new world order. You know, um, lesbians, you know, proud, independent, strong black women are perfect. For Esau's new world order because he can use them because they're slaves. What he doesn't want is free thinkers, Hebrew Israelites, men, all right, taking care of their families, all right, teaching their kids, all right. This is what he doesn't want. So Russia is going against that and they'll try to bring, they'll try to unleash hell on Russia for doing so, all right. And we know that the earth, let's get Job. Let's get Job, all right? Chapter 9, uh, verse 24, right? We know that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And who is the wicked? The wicked is Esau. He controls the earth. So they're, they're um, you know, where they stem and where they live in, in Europe, you know, once you see war hit in Europe, you know what's at stake is world domination, world control, all right? And this is the reason why all the world wars start in Europe, because they have the power, all right? And they're fighting over power. They're fighting to obtain power, all right? They're fighting. And then and then what happens when other nations grow bigger, they grow larger, they grow more influence, they want a, a, a piece of the pie. They want a select piece of the pie, and the nations that already have the pie... They would rather use their military weapons to keep them down or to bomb them back into the Stone Age so they don't um, have that power. All right. Revelation 12 and 12. Uh, Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, ye that dwell in them, who unto the heavens of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows he have but a short time. They have a short time to establish their new world order, to establish what they want. A lot of people are starting to wake up via the Internet talking to people, starting to realize, you know, that, that look, man, this, this something isn't right with this government, with the, with the people that are in control, with the society and with the system, 
and they're demanding a change. They're demanding a change, but before you know, they they will relinquish their power. You know, these devils are gonna unleash hell upon this earth, and this is what the scriptures say. They'll launch nuclear missiles at each other. All right, they'll kill one another. They'll steal. They'll rape. They'll rob. They're putting themselves in position to do just that, and this is why. Uh, nations are maneuvering together uh, Military exercises Joint military exercises uh, Putting sh ships in certain seas And vessels in certain walkways And runways And plans and plots Okay It's all cohesive with Maintaining power Another people trying to obtain power Another one has to relinquish that power That vacuum <laughs> All right, uh, uh, power. Okay, it all it's all cohesive. The last scripture that I close out with. Um, actually, I, I so to, to 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 sum it all back up. Um, Habakkuk two. Uh, uh, two. Verse 5, yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man to the keeping at home, who will largest his diary as hell, and as death and cannot be satisfied. But gather unto him all nations, keep him from all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe unto him that increaseth that which is not his? How long to him that laid himself with the clay, that did not rise up suddenly, that shall bite thee, and awake, that shall vex thee? Thou shalt be for booties for them. Because they have spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land and of the city and them that dwell therein. So you can't um, you can't get away from this karma that's about to happen. This war is going to take off. You know, you can't get away from it. You just got to grab it by the horn. And, you know, worrying about a, a, a nation whose judgment or trying to save a nation whose judgment is set in the books. They are receiving recompense for the things that they have done. Ukraine is, is not innocent. Ukraine has a lot of blood on her hand. The Ukrainian government is, is a racist government. All Edomite nations are racist governments. All nations under the EU, the European Union, um, Soviet Union, um, are racist governments. They've done implemented policies and plans to make sure, to ensure, all right, without a doubt, that, you know, so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics will remain at the bottom of the tadpole. Knowing that if it wasn't policy put in place for us to, 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 to basically to be stuck, that we'd rise to the top and they would have no power. All right, so grow a backbone. All right, grow a backbone and hope for the death of your adversaries. Because the death of our adversaries means the life of us. Shalom. Kahala yamla yahawa ba shim yahawa shai ba shim haraka kadash.